From quantum computing to unmanned vessels, India and Singapore are pushing their defence ties into the future. During Prime Minister Lawrence Wong's official visit to India, both countries unveiled a roadmap from their comprehensive strategic partnership. At its core, its technology, choke points and security across the Indo-Pacific. But at the heart of this pact is one of the world's most strategic waterways, the Malacca Strait. The corridor where 60,000 ships pass each year, carrying one-third of global trade and 80% of China's energy imports. Whoever secures Malacca secures the Indo-Pacific. Singapore has long been the gatekeeper of the Malacca Strait, a stretch just 1.7 nautical miles wide at its narrowest point. Vulnerable to piracy, terrorism and blockage scenarios, the strait is both a lifeline and an Achilles heel. Enter unmanned surface vessels and AI-driven surveillance. Singapore's drone motherships are designed to deploy swarms of autonomous boats, creating a digital shield across the choke point. India, a Malacca stakeholder through its Andaman and Nicobar command, is keen to integrate with this architecture. For Delhi, Malacca isn't just a trade route, it's a front line of maritime deterrence against China's expanding PLA Navy. So why Malacca matters? It is the energy lifeline to China, global trade artery, piracy and terror hotbed and hence a strategic choke point leverage for India. For Beijing, Malacca is the Malacca dilemma, a potential choke point that India, Singapore and Quad navies could monitor or even interdict in a crisis. That's why India and Singapore Pact is about more than technology. It's about reshaping the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific. Now let's try and understand why Strait of Malacca is important to the world, to the Chinese and to the Indians. This is Strait of Malacca. As you can see with the red line, it is strategically the most crucial waterway. It is 1.7 nautical miles wide at the narrowest point. It transports around 60,000 sea vessels per annum and that caters for one third of the global trade. So that's why it's so important for the world and for the Chinese since 80% of the Chinese trade passes through this Strait of Malacca, this line that depicts that sea lane. Now, why it matters for India? Let's try and look at that. For us also, trade, energy and security is linked to Strait of Malacca. India and Singapore have technical convergence over there uh, as recently in the recent pact that has uh, happened between the two countries and the power balance in Indo-Pacific region can be manipulated from this region. Strategic leverage for India, hence because we can impact or we can affect uh, the leverage of the Indo-Pacific from this area and that, that is why India is also the frontline deterrence, maritime deterrence as far as Strait of Malacca, Indo-Pacific region is concerned. This whole of the region, this is the key and India holds the key because it's the dominant naval power in whole of this region. Let's try and understand the strategic relevance of Strait of Malacca and what options do the Chinese have. To understand that, let's uh, look at this uh, wall and I'll just explain to you. Uh, we can see India right there, thereafter Bay of Bengal and this dotted line which comes uh, through from uh, this particular area is Strait of Malacca. Up north is Malaysia, down south is uh, Indonesia and we have Singapore right here where my finger is resting and this is South China Sea. If in case of hostilities wherein uh, the rest of the uh, countries try to counter the Chinese hegemony and India as I said is the frontline deterrence to balance of power in this region of Indo-Pacific and once uh, the point, uh, once the decision is taken to apply uh, force and stop the Strait of Malacca, the Indian Navy swings into action. So once the Strait of Malacca is uh, uh, choked by the Indian Navy and the Singapore Navy, 
then Chinese have an option. They can use the Sunda Strait, but there is a problem. If you come along this dotted line uh, through the Sunda Strait and you enter uh, this region, uh, you have Singapore sitting right here and it can impact, uh, in fact, it will ensure that uh, the Chinese do not cross through the Sunda Strait. So thereafter, the third option that they have is the Lombok Strait. They can use this Lombok Strait, but here also issue is pretty complicated because we have Philippines and uh, Papua New Guinea. They are also not in sync with the Chinese hegemonic design. So they will also uh, put their forces to effect and counter the Chinese. So Chinese are now left with no other option but to use the southern uh, route that is skirting around the Australian continent into the Pacific and up to their harbours uh, in the east. But as we all know, even the Australia is not aligned to the Chinese. In fact, India, Australia, Japan and U United States, they are part of Quad. They are basically uh, there to counter the Chinese hegemonic design. So, Australians will also not allow the Chinese to pass through. So basically, in case of hostilities, while Indian Navy can very effectively uh, prevent the Chinese uh, ships moving across from the Strait of Malacca and of course Sunda and the Lumbok Strait, that is the capability that exists, the Australian Navy will ensure that they do not bypass uh, this continent into the Pacific Ocean. The bilateral roadmap links quantum computing AI and semiconductors with maritime operations. Quantum radars could pierce stealth, AI could predict swarm tactics. Semiconductor resilience ensures the tech backbone survives cyber warfare. Strategically, this tech convergence allows India and Singapore not only to secure Malacca, but also project influence deeper into the South China Sea and Bay of Bengal, signaling that Indo-Pacific choke points will not go unguarded. Singapore has acknowledged India's growing role in Malacca Strait Patrol. This narrow choke point, just 1.7 nautical miles wide at its thinnest stretch, carries nearly 60,000 ships annually. For China, 80% of imported oil passes through here, creating what strategists call the Malacca Dilemma. By strengthening India's presence, New Delhi and Singapore send a message this artillery will remain secure but also contested if regional peace is threatened. From unmanned warships to quantum defences, India and Singapore are laying the groundwork for new maritime order. At the centre of it lies the Malacca Strait narrow in width but immense in its power to shape Indo-Pacific balance.